Hey everybody, I'm Bubba. And I'm Lauren. And we're here on site today to take a post-decontamination PCB wipe sample. Yes, and the way we originally deconned this drum is we rinsed it off with uh, water and collected it into another drum that consisted of PCB wastewater. We then scrubbed it with a water alkanox mix. We then took a hexane rag or hexane wipe and wiped down the inside of the drum and let that dry. And our goal is to collect a sample to confirm that this is clean to be able to recycle the drums. So what we're doing here today is the PCB wipe sample and I'll be reading these instructions and Lauren will be taking the sample. So you're gonna to wanna to wear the proper PPE when you're taking these samples. So next, Lauren, you're gonna open the gauze and moisten it. <laughs> you like that word, Tom? Moisten. Uh, with two milliliters of hexane. Now my understanding is that we have wipes that are pre-moistened. So these Correct. came from the lab that already have the two milliliter of hexane on the jar. Um, call your lab and ask if they could have this available for you. Otherwise, you would have to add two milliliters of hexane to the wipes. So if we weren't using pre-moistened, uh, we would need to use one container of hexane on one gauze pad per sample. You would break the elongated end of the ampule. It's an ampule. Well, an ampule is a small sealed vial which is used to contain and preserve a sample, usually a solid or liquid. Now, while holding it over the gauze, you use all the con contents of the ampule, and then you're gonna thoroughly wipe a 100 square centimeter area with side to side, then up and down wipes. Now when you're done, you're gonna fold the wipe with the side you used facing in and place it in the supplied collection vial. Then you're gonna cap the vial. Then you'll label the sample. So what you would do next is you're going to prepare a field blank just for... It's to confirm that there is no cross-contamination with your sampling and within the lab. Since that's pre-moistened, we... Don't even All have you to have do to do is label the jar. Great. We have a cooler full with ice that we will place these in. And then take off your gloves. This is the screener that we used for this project. Uh, what it does is it separates the soils from other debris that we were trying to remove from the soils. Because this job site contained PCB contaminated soil, we should be collecting a wipe sample to confirm that this equipment was properly decontaminated before it leaves the job site. So uh, the last step, I, I assume, is filling out the chain of custody, correct? Correct. Okay, so what what is uh, specific for this type of sampling? What is specific that you would need to put on the chain of custody? So something to note is making sure you write down the surface area that you collected the sample from. In this circumstance, we use 100 centimeters squared, and it's important to have that on the chain so they are able to provide a valid concentration of the analytical results. Hey, buddy. You see the bug? Hey, don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And you too. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I think that's pre pretty much a wrap. That's a wrap. Lauren, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, Tom. Take care. He's right there. Oh, he wanted a So what roll. is it? I don't know. Some kind of bug that's going to kill us. Great.